Here at the NBA Finals Game 1, I'm Kristen Ledlow alongside John Schumann and Sekou Smith as well. A huge Game 1, a close Game 1, an overtime Game 1. I mean, it sounds so obvious to just ask your immediate thoughts. Well, I mean, it was unbelievable. I'm glad we got five extra minutes. I think we deserved it. Um, you know, and if that's Cleveland's best punch, this is a long series, you know, that, that's going to get cut short by a couple of games because I can't imagine LeBron playing any better than he played tonight. And to have Kyrie play as well as he did off the injury, and, we, and obviously we don't know what the prognosis is for him going forward, but if this is the best Cleveland has, Golden State clearly didn't play their best game. This, this series gets really interesting after this. Well, what are the adjustments that the Cavs need to make if they are going to move forward here in Game 2? I mean, I don't, I don't know that there's any one thing they could take away. They did a great job on Steph and Clay. The Warriors missed a lot of open shots. But if, if you can't finish the game, you know, at the end, if you can't finish it and make big shots and miss, what, 12 straight shots down the stretch in overtime? I, I mean, there's no way you're going to come out of here winning this game, missing shots like that at the end. Andre Iguodala charged with uh, stopping or at least slowing down LeBron. Your thoughts on him? Yeah, we saw the same thing as we saw in the regular season where Iguodala was the guy who was tasked with guarding LeBron the most, even though he's coming off the bench to do it. Um, and he did a fantastic job. LeBron obviously was awesome, but a lot of those shots were contested. And then Iguodala gave them some unexpected offense, hit a couple corner threes, had a couple big dunks at the end of the first quarter, at the end of the third quarter. Um, what they got from him was huge. Um, and. If, if they can get that going forward, they're in really good shape. Well, for the Cavs to be able to push this to an overtime period here at Oracle, what do you think uh, needs to happen on Golden State's end to, to avoid a scenario like that? I think they need to just keep doing what they're doing. I think I think the shots that the Cavs made uh, were tough, and I think if the Warriors keep doing what they're doing, I think they're in good shape. Um, you know, they, they single-covered LeBron most of the time, and they didn't let the other guys get going. J.R. Smith had a tough shooting night. Uh, Iman Shepard hit a couple threes but was quiet for most of the second half. So I think the Warriors are in good shape as far as, you know, letting LeBron do what he's going to do, make him take tough shots, and then keep the other guys quiet. And of course, we'll wait and see what happens in game two for John Schumann and Sekou Smith. I'm Kristen Ledlow with NBA.com.